here we are at a coming soon. And uh, I won't divulge too much, but I will show you the walkthrough. So complete open layout, I'll take you right to the back, show you the large kitchen, spin around. So large, large kitchen space, newer, newer appliances there and there. And um, you have the ability if you wanted to put an island here, but they have it situated right now with the large dining room table right there. I think it works quite well. So get a sense of this open layout. I actually think it's furnished quite well. So I would, couches work right there. You have the TV situated here. Everyone can gather and uh, straight shot. So there you go. Now I'll take you upstairs and I'll show you that this has hardwood floors throughout and most, most everything's already been updated for you. So I'll take you right into the bathroom, fully remodeled. You can see tile and that is a larger than usual tub just so you're aware and a nice layout so you have the window there tile floors and updates throughout here is your first bedroom see how that looks again hardwood floors the recessed lighting the new fan and uh, pull you out show you the hallway this goes into what's being used as an office but this is your middle bedroom and also you do have hardwood floors under there. So it runs straight through. And this is the master. So take a look at the master coming in. I'll spin you around and show you every angle. And that is a queen bed. So you should get a sense of how big this room is. And I'll take you over here and share with you some of my ideas. So you have a closet over there, a closet over here, and that space could fit a large armoire. Or if you wanted to, you could actually build that in and that entire wall could be filled with closets. So excellent solution if you're short on closet space uh, because this room is quite large. So we'll take you back, show you once more what we have up here on the upstairs. Now we're gonna head downstairs and I missed a linen closet right behind me, just so you know. You'll see the shot of the living room from above. Again, the hardwood floors throughout here open concept and into the kitchen. Now we do have a nice nook behind that door. And right here, we have the half bath for the first floor. So there you go. We'll spin around and down to the basement. We have half of the basement's finished. So great for a man cave, you know, a family room down here, kids playroom, just a good space. You have the recessed lighting, you have the natural light from the window. And then if you wanna get crazy, you could finish some of this too. Box in some of the utilities there and um, the laundry, but you have additional space. Plenty of space for a workshop, uh, whatever you like. And also the ceiling height, I do wanna comment on that. Uh, it's pretty high. I'm all of five feet, 10 inches. And even if you put a drop ceiling here, you have plenty of headroom. So newer laundry, uh, always negotiable. Now the sewer line was fully redone, I believe all the way out to a certain point in the street. So that's a costly expense that you will not incur. I believe the heater has been serviced, the boiler. There's your oil tank. You do have a sump pit right here, any water that would come in. And you have a walkout that goes right out back. But I'll take you out the front to show you that one. Get one more sense of how much space is here because it's, it's quite large. I do want to comment, that's a well McLean. They're uh, some of the best. So that's always good to know a little bit about <laughs> your heater, your boiler that is. Here we are, we'll cruise on. Go out the front door, we'll take you to the back and so show you that uh, oasis. Now honestly, I'm gonna shoot back upstairs real quick and uh, show you the yard because this is probably the best vantage point. And looking down from this bedroom here, will give you a sense of the privacy you have and uh, the size of the shed too. Cause right there's the yard. So definitely a great shot there. You know, any pets or children or you know, anything you wanna keep contained. Uh, it's nice to have a fenced in yard. So now we'll pop outside quickly to put on the shoes. Again, any showings or viewings of this house, everyone should remove their shoes. Always good, good form. One more shot of that, out the front door we go. 
So here we are. See a little bit about the street. Show you the front of the house. There you are. And the side. So again, all fenced in. You even have a side area here for grilling that could be treated like a patio, tied into the existing patio and show you this backyard. There we go. It's all right. Yeah, so all fenced in. And also you only have that tree in the back, but that is a big space. So I'll take you here and, uh, oh yeah, side entrance right into the kitchen. So here you go. I think we showed you every angle of the house. And I'll leave you right there. As always, any questions, reach out to info at lensateam.com and uh, I'll talk to you soon.